Okay, guys, on this trip, what I did was I uh, went for flounder, and I'm fairly new to flounder fishing. I've watched some YouTube videos, uh, so I'm trying to learn how to do it a little better. Um, on the one rod that doesn't have me touching it, it's just dragging along. It's a fish finder setup. has about a three-foot section of fluorocarbon and a 4.0 hook on it with a four-inch swimming mullet uh, from Gulp. And then on the other one, I have a one-ounce bucktail on a, the bottom and a foot up from that, a 4.0 hook with a four inch swimming mullet on it. And uh, with that one, I just kind of try to bounce it on the bottom and try to shake that teaser that's uh, fr up from the bottom to try to instigate a strike from the flounder. And that's something I learned from watching John Skinner uh, on YouTube. And uh, I caught the keeper flounder on the fish finder setup, but I caught f more fish on the John Skinner setup. Part of that might be, you know, my hands were on it, but I believe there is something to the shaking method that he employs. So good luck. All right, one. First one in three minutes. <laughs> Take it. Keep on rolling. Gotcha. 19. You're my best yet. You're my best yet. There's one. And he's too small. Seven feet of water. That's fine. going good I called a 19 inch over there by Harbor Island nice. caught a bunch of smalls though all most of them were really little but uh, yeah. th then I threw around the uh, bridge caught a handful of rocks but they were small of course but it's fun right yeah how you doing hey, uh, all small yeah you couldn't yeah you're doing real good over in that spot Yeah, right. I see you working that control, your little seat back and all. It's flounder, flounder focused. <laughs> all right, it was nice meeting you. 
Yep, you too. Thank you. It's a it's a jet boat. Yeah. So, all right.